everybody, this is Robin here at the Clarington Public Library and today I'm going to bring you one of our story time shorts. We're going to read one book and then sing one song together. I hope you have your dancing shoes on because today's story time is all about dancing. So why don't we get started with our story. Okay, everybody, the story I picked for us today is called When Langston Dances. So it was written by Kaya Langley and illustrated by Keith Mallett. And we're going to read it today with permission from Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers. So let's get started. Okay, I can already tell this is going to be a nice, colorful book. Look at all these colors we have. Okay. Langston liked basketball but he adored ballet. He fell in love the first time his mother took him to see the Alvin Ailey Dance Company. So many bodies soaring across the stage, spinning, leaping, twirling dancers everywhere. Look at them all, lots of people doing all kinds of wonderful dancing together. Do you think I can dance like that? Langston asked his mother. You can do whatever you set your mind to doing, his mother said. That's very good advice, don't you think? From that day forward, Langston practiced in front of his bedroom mirror. Finally, one Saturday morning, he felt ready for his first day of school. So you can see that he likes basketball and ballet. He has pictures of basketball players and of dancers on his mirror. And then there's him and his mama. <laughs> Today is the day I dance, he told his mother as he double-tied his sneakers. And you can dance to your heart's content, his mother said. On the way to his new school, Langston told everyone he met, watch me dance. He dipped for the mail carrier, putting letters in the box, and kicked for the police officer, helping them cross the street, and spun for the barber, sweeping his sidewalk. Langston waited for his applause. Instead, a kid passing by said, Boys don't dance like that. Langston huddled closer to his mother, but he replied, They do too. I've seen them. He's right too. When he was at the ballet, you could see both dancers that were boys and dancers that were girls. When he arrived at Miss Marie's dance studio, Langston felt nervous. Would the other students like the way he moved? Was he dressed properly in his basketball shorts and sneakers? A gentle push from his mother and Langston set off to find his class. The first room was a class of students learning how to tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap, tap, shuffle, shuffle, tap. And you can see there's both boys and girls dancing in all of these classes. Langston wandered to the next class. He felt the boom from the music beneath his feet as students practiced hip-hop dance. Another class of students clapped their hands and stomped their feet, keeping rhythm with a man beating a drum. They were learning African dance. In the last classroom, the music was so quiet, Langston could barely hear it. He watched excitedly as little girls stood in a line along the bar in front of a mirror and practiced the ballet positions as the dance teacher called them out. First position, she called. When the girls moved their feet into the shape of a V, Langston held onto the door frame and followed their lead. Second position, the teacher announced next. When the class slid one foot away, so did Langston. Finally, Langston kicked off his sneakers and darted into the class to take his place at the bar. He closed his eyes and remembered the Alvin Ailey dancers. The teacher clapped her hands to bring the class to attention. Langston opened his eyes and realized he stood alone in front of the mirror. Welcome to ballet. I am Miss Marie, said the teacher. I've been expecting you, Langston. Langston took a bow. In this class, we wear shoes. Miss Marie floated gracefully towards a closet. She rummaged through a box and mumbled, no, 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 
before exclaiming, yes. She handed Langston a pair of black ballet slippers. They were different from the other students' slippers, but he tried them on with delight. They fit him perfectly. Do you have to wear special shoes, just like these ones here, to do ballet, just like sometimes you have to wear special shoes for different sports, like when you wear cleats to play soccer? Overjoyed, Langston took off running and leaping across the room. He spun and jumped, dipped and kicked. The girls gasped in wonder. Miss Marie nodded her approval. Then she clapped her hands again. This is serious business. You must work very hard to be a ballet dancer. You'll have to earn those shoes, you know. I will, Langston said, standing taller than before. The class lined up along the mirror and Langston took his place. He promised to work hard in every class and Langston danced and danced and danced. The end. Well, everyone, wasn't Langston a wonderful dancer? I bet if we all practiced too, we could be just as good at dancing as he is. So why don't we start practicing with a dance I'm pretty sure we all know. We're going to do the Hokey Pokey. Are you ready to dance with me? Okay. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand out. You put your right hand in and you shake it all about. You do the Hokey Pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Next hand. You put your left hand in, you put your left hand out. You put your left hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. So what should we do next? I think we'll do our elbows. You put your elbows in, you put your elbows out. You put your elbows in and you shake them all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Now we're going to do our whole self. Are you ready? You put your whole self in. You put your whole self out. You put your whole self in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Whew! That was fun, everybody, wasn't it? Thank you so much for joining in with all my dancing today. And if you enjoyed our story time short today, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting and fun videos. Goodbye, everybody. Have a wonderful day.